Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Rex Engine. Hope everyone's doing well. We just released Rex Engine 1.59 and it's got some really cool new features in it. The one I wanted to cover in this video isn't really a brand new thing so much as it's a quality of life change, which is gonna make your workflow a little bit easier, a little bit faster. And it's actually one of my favorite things we've done with Rex Engine in a while. So it's a seemingly simple thing that I think really adds up and it's really gonna save you guys a lot of time over the long run as you guys design your games and build out your levels. So this, this feature is the ability to quickly switch between scenes in the editor directly from scene loaders. So to show you guys what the process looks like just with vanilla Unity, um, everyone's done this, opening up new scenes, you've gotta to navigate to your scenes folder or wherever you've got them stored and double click on the scene. So easy enough, but one of those things that especially depending on what folders you're working in, if you don't have your scenes folder open, I've found that really adds up over time. Like it's something that I think is kind of annoying constantly trying to figure out where you were going and where you were storing stuff whenever you wanna load something. Um, like you'd have to figure out, okay, this scene is supposed to load into demo two figure out where demo two is stored, double click it. What I've done in this new version of Rex Engine is these scene loaders, because they connect the scenes together when the game is playing, they now actually connect the scenes together in the editor too. So if I click on this scene loader goes to demo one, for example, if I click on this and look in the inspector, under the scene loader component, there's a new button right here, conveniently at the bottom called load scene. And if I click this button, what it's going to do is load me in the editor directly into the scene this connects to. So if I click on this, bam, now we're in demo one. And this is actually kind of cool because like I have this really big infatuation with video game maps, right? Like looking at these zoomed out pictures of levels scrolling by all at once. And I love the ability to navigate between those and look at those the same way you would in the game but in the editor now. So you can actually just click through these and follow along basically the same path that a player would take going through these levels. So most of this is handled automatically for you by the editor. Um, this is something that I'm, I'm really proud of. What this does basically is you already put in the name of the scene you're going to load into the scene loader because that's how it loads the scene in the game. So we already know the name of the scene the editor should load. And the only extra thing you need to do is there's a section here called new scene folder path. And this is basically the path to the folder where that scene is stored. Because to make this work, Unity has to know the full path to the scene. This is going to be filled out for you automatically to the best of Rex Engine's ability, which is to say that when you first open one of your scenes and look at these for the first time, this is going to be filled out with the same path that the open scene is in. So for example, right now we're in demo checkpoint three and demo checkpoint three is in assets, Rex Engine scenes. So assets Rex Engine scenes is already going to be filled out for you. Now that's gonna work as long as all of your scenes are in the same folder. If you have scenes in different folders, all you need to do one time only is just type in the, the path to the scene that needs to be loaded into. And I'll show you guys what happens if you don't have the proper path in there. I'll just copy that so we've got it. Click this, try to load scene. So this is gonna try and load demo push block, but it doesn't know what folder to load that from. And of course it loads demo push block anyway. Rex Engine is just that good. Um, <laughs> that's weird. Hmm. Oh well, fuck it. And that's really all there is to it. So again, this is a really simple feature that I think is really going to add up over time. And I think it's just kind of fun. I think it's nice to work with. Um, anyway, I will be back shortly with other videos on new features in Rex Engine 1.59. Hope that was helpful, and I'll talk to you guys next time.